Hello world, it's Eric here, back with another episode of my Simple Easy Cooking Show. Today I'm cooking with free food. I'm trying to help people and show them how you can cook your free food that you get. So, this is something that I've gotten a few times before. Frozen pork chops from American Custom Meat Processing. Alright, I have a pound of pork. There's four four ounce pork chops here. They look really good. I'm going to put them on a plate and let them thaw out in my fridge for a day or two. Okay, here we are. These pork chops look pretty good to me. They are pretty thin. They look like they've held up pretty good. Texture-wise, it's a solid piece of meat, and I didn't put any marinade on them. I'm just going to do a little salt and pepper. I'm cooking today with the cast iron pan and my induction hot plate. I'm going to preheat my pan to 375, so I'm going to get that started. I have a little bit of oil in the pan. I used less oil this time, so hopefully I don't get as much grease popping. Okay, before I start cooking, I'm going to put a little salt on there. I have some pink salt. Sprinkle it on. Mm -hmm. And... some black pepper and a pepper shaker. I couldn't find my salt shaker, but don't worry. I will try to find it again soon. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in the pan, this side down, and then after I put it in the pan, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on the other side too. So to give it a little bit of flavor. I really like pork plain, so I just wanted to try these pork chops plain today. Okay, I think my pan is heating up. See, look, my oil, oil is starting to smoke already. So I'm going to swish my oil around a little bit to get it around the pan. Um, interesting thing, this oil I'm using says that can take a heat up to 490 degrees, but I'm only at 375, and I'm going to have to turn on the fan because it's getting pretty smoky. things you have to be careful with the cast iron pan is that it gets very hot. It's just a solid piece of metal. So, check the hands when you use these hot pans. Maybe slip them over the handle like that. Oops, okay, so I think I got my pan heated up and I'm getting ready to throw my steaks in the pan. And oh, I forgot to mention, I have a secret special sauce. A special secret sauce, simple, easy sauce that I'll share with you that you can use as a dipping sauce or you can just pour it all over like a barbecue sauce or a steak sauce. Okay, let's get cooking and then we'll check out the sauce. After they're done. I'm just gonna throw them on there. Oops. 
and then lay them perfectly in my pan. It's kind of flipped over that way. It'll be okay. Okay, I'm using this metal spatula. Straighten them out right there. So I had a big contact. Okay. I'll probably let them go for about three or four minutes on each side or until they look like they have started to get done on that side. Oh yeah, I need to throw a little more salt and pepper on there on this side. more salt. Well, that was a lot on the first one. And more pepper. Really helps to bring out that flavor. And if you want to add a little sweetness, maybe a little extra calories, and some fiber, I'll show you how to make a really simple, easy sauce to use on your pork chops. All right. What is your favorite way to eat pork chops? What kind of sauce? Barbecue sauce, steak sauce, or plain? What do you like? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, these cook pretty quickly, so I think they're getting about ready time to flip over, especially because they're thin. I have my pan nice and hot. And I can smell them. I can smell the pork cooking. So I think it's probably about time to start flipping them over. When I flip them, I try to put the sides that was towards the center of the pan to the outside of the pan. I try to make sure that they're cooking evenly. Sometimes I'll even turn the pan. Half turn. Mmm, they're starting to look really good. It's starting to smell really good. And they didn't stick to the pan. I had enough oil in my pan. It was well seasoned. So, it's good. It's looking really good. Okay. Okay. I think they are done. So, I'm going to get those off of there. to check out the secret sauce. Let's, I'm going to turn my pan off. And take these off there. Oh yeah. It's like, put the well on the other side. Both sides. Very nicely. Very nice.
looking good. You know what they say, pork, the other white meat. Cut one open and see what it looks like on the inside. And the secret sauce. Seneca cinnamon applesauce. Sweet and delicious. It goes great with anything. Natural sugar. For sweet barbecue sauce. Am I going to eat these all today, all by myself? I don't know. And check out that sauce. And pour a little on top. Or use it as a dip. Mmm. Pretty good. Now, if you really, really want to make it a meal, you can add a side of rice, vegetables, maybe some noodles, or some bread, some potatoes, chips, who knows. There are lots of options. So anyways, that's all for now. Uh, free food cooking, a simple easy pork steak with my easy secret sauce. Apple cinnamon, cinnamon apple sauce. Ha ha ha, what a surprise. Uh, but hey, it's a good idea. If you don't have anything else and you want something that works like barbecue sauce or steak sauce. So I hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed my Eric's kitchen today. And I will see you again soon in my next video. Love you. God bless you. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you want more, you can check out my channel. I have over 100 videos. That's all for now. Goodbye. Mmm, look at all that pork steak. Yummy, yummy. Pork. The other white meat. Mmm, yum. Thank you. Delicious.